When it comes to versatility at the safety position, Tyron Matthew, Jamal Adams, and Derwin James come to mind. All three of those players can play linebacker, slot, and safety, and they can pretty much do everything at a very high level. We'll add LSU safety Grant Delpit to that list because he is the next superstar safety that is entering the NFL. Delpit's natural position is safety, specifically free safety, but he can still line up on the line of scrimmage or around the ball at linebacker like you see in this position, and he makes the play on the running back here. But from the backside angle, you can see a little bit more of what's actually impressive the technique he plays with, the awareness, the understanding of exactly what this offense is trying to do is what sticks out to me. If you guys watch this play again, you will see that number 27 is going to go directly at Grant Delpit and Delpit's going to do a great job by getting low and giving him his inside shoulder and keeping that left shoulder left on free in case the running back tries to cut it to the outside. This is what you teach your linebackers to do and because Grant Delpit understands what he needs to do in this certain situation, it makes me believe that he is the next wave of safeties who can excel in a lot of different positions. Take this next play for example. He's not lined up at linebacker, instead he's lined up at free safety. And the impressive part is he can get from sideline to sideline very, very quickly. He has the speed and the range to break this pass up. As you guys are gonna see again, he does a great job once he recognizes the play, turns his hips, and is able to go full speed from zero to 60 really, really quickly. He does a great job on this play. But the thing that I love about Delpit is his natural instincts. And you're gonna see on this play exactly what I'm talking about. On this play, the receiver is gonna do a nice out and up route and Delpit's gonna just undercut it and knock the ball incomplete and the thing I love about this play is he has a couple of options right he can play over the top or he can play underneath and he recognizes that if he just goes underneath he's gonna be able to knock this pass down and that's exactly what he does I love the fact that he makes his decision of what he wants to do he can easily maneuver left to right and he's able to make these types of plays again this is why I think Delpit is a very very versatile safety he is the next wave of safeties right you get players that can cover you get players that can play the brunt around the line of scrimmage and then to take it to the next step you have players that understand what the office is trying to do you have this tight end who's trying to get to the outside quickly you have a play action to hopefully get the safety to bite delpit does not bite he's playing up and he knows what his responsibility is he's not going to fall for anything and he's going to just take away trevor lawrence's quick throw and force lawrence to have to take the deep shot another thing i really really like about delpit is when he has to blitz and he has to fill a gap he does it very well he maneuvers with his body perfectly in this play and he gets right through the hole and he blows this running back up now unfortunately the running back didn't get the ball but have the running back off the ball this play wouldn't have picked up anything because del pitt was right there to shut this play down if there's one thing that nfl teams are gonna love about del pitt it's his ability to play man to man on anybody rather it's a running back a tight end or a wide receiver like in this play del pitt can pretty much shut down anyone out there when i watched his film i saw a number of times where he was playing man to man on cd lamb or on t higgins or just playing over the top on henry ruggs or jerry judy he was pretty much doing everything and i really really was impressed by watching how good he was from a technique standpoint especially in man-to-man -man coverage. In this play, he does a great job getting his hands on the receiver, just enough to slow him down, but not enough for a referee to call a penalty on him. To me, this kind of shows me that he understands from a technique standpoint what it is that he has to do. And the more I focused around this concept, the more I proved myself correct. This guy is a technique genius, and take this play for example. In it, he's just playing underneath the wide receiver, but what he's doing, he's not giving the quarterback an easy opportunity to throw him the ball but how did we really get here well i'm gonna back up and show you guys a couple of things and it really starts with the way that del pitt opens his hips up and really is telling the wide receiver you have a couple of options of where i am allowing you to run because with the way that del pitt has opened up his hips the receiver is not going to be able to take the inside it's pretty much off limits if the receiver does try to go to the inside delpit can easily just get his hands on the wide receiver and since it's within five yards it is not a penalty and it'll pretty much stop the wide receiver in his tracks now the next thing this wide receiver can do is run two routes to the outside however because del pitt is playing underneath unless trevor lawrence made a perfect throw del pitt is pretty much going to intercept anything 
which leads me with the one route that the receiver could end up running and that is across the middle of the field but as you're gonna see when the play gets started Delpit pretty much runs right underneath the wide receiver and if Trevor Lawrence tries to make a throw unless it's the perfect throw Delpit's gonna pretty much shut everything down and again it all starts with the technique the way he opens his hips this is a great example of unless you're willing to go deep and Delpit knows that the receiver won't because he has safety help there's not much you can do so from a technique standpoint Delpit is very good and I really love the way he plays man-to-man -man defense tight ends really don't have a shot with Delpit and if a team needs a safety who can cover and shut people down Delpit is your guy but it's not just his coverage when it comes to man-to-man -man. it's not just his coverage when it comes to him playing free safety it's that sideline to sideline speed it's the fact he can play linebacker it's the fact he can blitz from being at safety and coming down and getting the sack on the quarterback. There's so many different things that this guy does. It's just impressive. Now, a lot of people are really excited about Isaiah Simmons and I am too, don't get me wrong. Simmons is gonna be a really good player. However, when it comes to that versatility, right? That Tyron Matthew, Derwin James type of player, the thing that makes them special is because they can play free safety and they do have sideline to sideline speed. And I'm not saying that Isaiah Simmons isn't fast, he is. However, when Simmons is gonna be lined up in the slot and when he has to cover slot wide receivers rather it's John Ross who runs a 4-2-2 speed unless Simmons gets his hands on those players and really slows them down Simmons will end up allowing catches in coverage now when you take Grant Delpit for example he doesn't have to get his hands on players he has that speed that will allow him to cover speedy wide receivers now of course with that being said Simmons is going to be a much better uh, quote-unquote linebacker in the NFL but he will not be as good when it comes to coverage as Del Pitt will be. So if a team needs a true safety who can play slot corner, maybe even line up on the outside, who can do a range of different things, Grant Del Pitt is your guy. My comp for Del Pitt is Jamal Adams, and I think it fits because of the way LSU asked him to play. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with another film.